Hi, today I want to show you uh, how to put a 3D object on your photo and we can use Blender. This is not a Blender tutorial, this, uh, I'm aiming to 2D artist. I, I won't go into details of the uh, 3D program. So uh, first of all, I want to show you this photo. So if you look at it, there are two kids uh, sitting at the Mac computer. There's nothing special. When you look in the, the next one I'm going to show you, you can see this is a cartoon character. So obviously it's not a real photo. Uh, I'm going to show you how to get the perspective right in the photo. And the, the next one you will see this is uh, a different one. So basically the whole background is a 3D model. In this video, I assume you have never used Blender before. So uh, first of all, you need to download the uh, Blender software on the blender.org website. Uh, the link will be posted in the video description. And when you start it, you will see something like this. I'm using the version 2.65. And uh, for our purpose, the camera calibration, we need a special plugin. Uh, the details is described in this web, on this website and how to use the plugin. And I already downloaded and I put the script in the, I created a directory called uh, Blender scripts. And now I have to tell the Blender the, the, where the scripts are. So First of all, you have to go to File and uh, User Preferences and uh, go to the File tab. And here you can see the script. And you, what I need to do is to select my directory, Blender script directory. Click on Accept. Now click on Save as default. And go to Preferences, User Preferences again. But now this time go to the Add-on tab. Turn off the official community and turn on the testing. You will see this is the three, the plugin we need for our purpose. Uh, doesn't look like I can enable it. Maybe I need a restart of the Blender software. Okay, let's try to restart it. Okay, I'm back. In Blender, go to User Preferences, Add-on. Yes, now the plugin is enabled. Okay, save as default. When you open Blender, by default, you will see the uh, 3D view, uh, where you can find a cube in the middle, and there's a camera here. And on the left hand side, there's a tool panel. If you don't see the tool panel, just press T. Now, if I press T, it will disappear and press T again, and then it will come back. So we also need a property panel on the right hand side. And you need to press N. So you get, get the, you can get the property panel. And now we start doing uh, our 3D scene. So let's go to a movie clip editor and uh, click on the open button to get your background photo. So this is my photo and you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out. Now uh, we have to put four lines to uh, tell the camera the perspective in the photo. So go to grease pencil and uh, we need to draw two lines on one layer. Uh, click on new layer. So to you can ch select a color. So in this case I just make it a little red. So you, it's easier to see uh, both layers. So now I change it to red. So and to draw, to draw the line, you have to press Ctrl D and left mouse button. So then you draw the line. We need two lines on one layer. So, and draw another line. 
and they have to be parallel in the real scene of the photo, not really parallel on the picture. So now we add another layer. Let's try green here. So now we have to draw another two lines. And these two lines have to be 90 degree to the, the other line. In our case, it are the red line. So I will pick this line. They, they are the tiles on, on the floor. It's very easy for us in this picture. So press Ctrl D, left mouse key, and draw a line. And here, draw the line as well. So now we got two layers, uh, two lines on each layer. And on the left hand panel, you can see uh, there's a static camera calibration. And this is a uh, two vanished point. I don't want to go to the details, so just uh, for this example, is I just take all the default value and click on the calibrate active camera. Okay, now we can go back to the 3D views. You can see the ca camera has moved uh, before it was here on the left hand side. So now, if you press number key zero, then you will have a view from the camera. So let's, uh, we, we want to put the background, background picture in the 3D view as well. So how to do that? Go to the panel on the right hand side. There's a background images and check the box. Add image and open. So now I've got the background image here. Now you can see the floor here. It's not exact matching, but uh, it's not too bad. So uh, when you press the number seven of the number key, then it will be the view on the top. So you can see the camera is here. Camera is facing downward here. So uh, I can left click on the on the cube and click on the white uh, circle. You can move the cube here to to forward to the camera. And if you go to the back to the camera view, uh, press zero on the num key, then you can see that there's a cube moving forward. I can go move a little bit closer, closer, closer. And I can press S to scale the cube and then scale smaller. So you can see it. I can put it here. And we have to render the image where the 3D object is on it. And the idea is we are going to render the cube, but uh, the background will be transparent. Then we can put it on on a 2D program to uh, add the layer on top of it. Uh, a few things very important here. By default, it's set to 50%. You have to make sure you get this 100%. Otherwise, your rendered image will be too small. You also need to make sure the the type is PNG here. So because we want the IFA channel and change this to RGB a instead of just RGB. Now press the render button here. So you can see our image is rendered. There's a cube. Now go to image and save as image. I already saved that before. Now let's go to GIMP. So the, the idea is I already put this image on the background. So now I, I want a rendered image on a different layer. I just drag in the image on top of it. Now you can see there's a cube here. This is the layer cube. So the of course the lighting is absolutely wrong. So the, the cube is too dark. But the idea is uh, to get the right uh, 
perspective. Of course, there are other things to consider. We need to get exactly the same lighting as uh, whatever on the photo. I'm going to show you the lighting uh, later on an other video because I think this one is. I just want to concentrate on the plugin, but I also want to show you some very important feature just to get everything work here. Of course, as a 2D artist, you don't want to start doing 3D modeling. You can get a lot of free models on the website Blender Swap, and you can download them. Few very basic feature you need to know is a uh, right mouse button is to select uh, an object. If you press A, is unselect, or A is select all. If I unselect it and then click on right mouse button, I can select the object, the cube. Press S to scale, and press G to grab the object moving. And if you just press on the arrow, you can move along like this. Or, of course, you can press R to rotate the object. And you can press R, X to rotate on the X axis. Uh, or the same way it is for moving, press G, X, and then you move the object along the X axis. So uh, I think this is enough for this video. I will show you all other things uh, later. How to import the object to a 2D image. Thank you for watching. Bye.